All right, hey team, welcome to our weekly Monday Night Huddle. Um, glad that you guys were able to jump on tonight. I'm just gonna go through some quick, quick announcements before we get started. Um, so tomorrow is Tuesday, and every Tuesday of the month of June, we are doing, well, yeah, every Tuesday of the month of June, we are doing a power hour at 10 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so hopefully you can jump on one, if not both of those. It's one hour where we really just focus on reaching out to people. We're joining forces with Pam White and Samantha Harity, and we did it last week. Raise your hand if you were on one last week. I know a lot of y'all were on it. Um, it's kind of neat to jump on it and just get a different feel for how they work their businesses and how they reach out versus how I do because we're all such different personalities. Um, you know, I'm a blue, as you guys know. Sorry, Grandpa Izzy over here. Um, Sam is a red through and through, and Pam is a yellow. So it's kind of fun to hear from other color personalities on how they reach out to people. So that's tomorrow at 10 and 8.30, and I will be on both of those. And then Thursday is our weekly health and happy hour. You guys, we have probably like 21 testimonies in that, in that vault now, if you will. So make sure on a weekly basis you are – adding prospects to hear real life stories from our own team members. Um, you know, even if you're just adding one or two people, that is huge for building their belief in what these products can do for them. Um, and it'll even jog their mind for other people that they know too. Um, next Monday, one week from today, we start our Commit to Be Fit Challenge. Um, and this is for prospects, you guys. This is to get some customers under your belt um, they get to pick a combination that works for them based on what their goals are. And I'll bump that to the top of the team page. But you really want to make sure people have their orders placed by like Wednesday at the latest. So make sure tonight and tomorrow, that's probably something that you really want to work on during the power hour tomorrow is getting people closed out for that. Um, and that's a 30 day challenge group for customers. And 10% off welcome packs, you guys, that is good until next Monday as well. So that's what I'm really going to be focusing on um, the rest of this week is getting people closed out on that 10%. And don't let people wait until the very last minute because we know what happens when we do that. Um, so make sure you guys are working on that this week. Um, I have several people like waiting until payday and Friday's payday for a lot of them. So I'm hoping to follow up like a mad woman on Friday and get those people signed up. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Let me read our team affirmations. I'm getting better at remembering them. So our team affirmations for this year are for Journey Tour Diamond. We are a Sapphire team by September. We, we add hundreds of hope dealers every month. We are bold in sharing flexes. People are drawn to us in our hope, and we change lives every day. So tonight, you guys, like I said, it's just going to be super informal. Um, we were just going to use it for a q and a if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to share what's working for you what you feel like you need to tweak in your business um it can be product related it can be business related um i'm just going to kind of open it up and feel free to unmute yourselves and we can um do some fun q and a i think these are important from time to time all right who has a question? And we'll all kind of answer for each other because obviously I'm not the end all be all. <laughs> okay, well, I have a question if I, no one else wants to go first. Go for it, Kirsten. Okay, so I don't think anyone in this group has fast start golded, <laughs> gone fast start gold, but I met with, a, assigned a girl up today that really wants it. So I thought I would just come on here tonight and maybe just ask, like, if y'all know anyone who's fast start gold or like, um, I sent her a bunch of videos and I'm have her started on her list of 100 because I've heard from a lot of people like, don't wait, you know, start right away. Right. But um, maybe if you guys could just throw out ideas that you might have of things that she could do to get 20 people in 30 days, that could really help. I love that. I have a couple ideas off the top of my head and then okay. y'all can share your tips too. Um, and she knows what fast start gold is, right? Like she's all. Yeah. We met today for two hours. Okay. Awesome. Um, obviously with this 10% off, like just going crazy town, talking to anyone and everyone and pitching it and letting them know, like 
this never happens. Like mm -hmm. I'm brand new, but my friend tells me this never happens. Um, and then just letting her know, like reaching out like crazy in the beginning, but don't get discouraged if you only like go silver in the first two weeks. Cause it's those mm -hmm. last two weeks of consistent follow-up is from what I've heard from everyone that's gone fast start bulk. It's those last two weeks is when they really get their bulk of their ambassador signed. But most people get discouraged the first, the first and second week if they only have a couple people. Well, and I also, after watching a lot of these videos, I feel like people say you should front load because that's the only way you give anyone time who might come in under you to actually recruit. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can see that. Like, if she can get people signed up right away, perfect. But I think most people, it takes some time to, like, plant the seeds, follow yeah. up, that kind of thing. But most people give up. They have a fast start goal, and they recruit three people in two weeks, and they're like, how in the world am I going to get 17 in the last two weeks? You know? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. What, Carrie? Sorry. That's all right. Uh, two thoughts on that. One is just that rem is reminding me of the um, the Bob Heilig, you know, popcorn video that he, he talks about the microwave popcorn where it you know, the, it's in the microwave for three minutes or whatever when you're popping a bag of, mic of popcorn. And it's the microwave is doing the same amount of work for all three minutes, but almost all of the popcorn pops in the last minute or so. And then he's got, there's a video, like, go to YouTube and find Bob like Bob Heilig popcorn or something. Okay. I'll, I'll try to find it for you after if I can, but it's, I just watched it. That, well, I watched it when we were trying to get married fast start gold. Yeah. And I sent it okay. to her. I'll find it for you. Um, and, but the, and then the other thing is the Brooke Hemingway video that I was, we were talking about just last week where she talks about um, every time you sign someone new, ask them, who do you know who can do this with you? Cause I loved that. Like I had never don't like, she wasn't even talking about getting people silver, get a mm -hmm. friend to join you. So every time you're a person who wants to go fast start gold, find somebody to sign up immediately ask them, who do you know who can run with you on, or not even run with you, who can do this with you? Who else do you know? What friend do you know who wants to lose weight or have more energy or whatever, who wants these products that you can say, you know, it's your, best friend or your mom or your sister or whoever that you can call up and say hey i'm trying these products i need an accountability partner that was what we talked about get yourself an accountability partner who will buy the products and do it with you and you guys can check in with each other and if like if everybody you sign signs their own accountability partner then you're getting massive people you under need 10 and not 20. right yeah <laughs> and i think just having her anyone she's interested in talking plexus with and they're open to it like getting them in a three-way message with you letting you do all the work like she's just she's basically bringing you people you know yeah. so when she I goes fast start it's like kirsten went fast start you know like because you're going to be doing all the work and closing people out she's just literally bringing the people and staying excited about it you know i was just going to send them all to christy what does she have going on <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> nothing <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, if you want a tag team, we can just sit there and make well, phone calls. If the momentum goes crazy, we might need to. I mean, there yeah. might just be times when I can't cover them all, you know? Yeah. Well, that's and that's another good idea is like if you want to do a three day party for her or have her really go crazy using the health and happy hour. Um, or since she's local, if you guys just want to, if she has like a lot of local friends, do it a quick like, hey, go to her house and just have four or five friends over, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, she's going to come to dinner on Thursday, so I think oh, fun. she really wants to meet everybody and be like, she wants the community and the friendships too. So we could talk about all this, but Perfect. I didn't want to miss anything, but it sounds like, I mean, I want to hear from other people if you guys have ideas, but I told her like to watch the videos I sent and start working on our Frank's list of a hundred. Like that Perfect. seems to be, and I told her she has to have it by tomorrow. Perfect. Oh, I was going to say, I agree about the accountability thing like finding the one and one just because even like one or two just to see like they could have a workout buddy or something like that like ask them if they have anyone like that because then that'd be a good person like okay you're going to the gym every day let's be plexus buddies 
And then the other thing is there was a girl who just went fast start gold and I've been stealing most of her posts. Her name is Jalen Green. Um, I've been follow like I've been stealing most of her po posts just because they're so engaging. Like she's killing it. So I would. Is that the one you shared the other day, or someone shared it? it was like this is a great first post. Like it was so good. I'd have to get through her um, news feed right now because everyone's congratulating her on going fast start gold. <laughs> Like once you get to some of her posts, they were really good, and I've like saved them. Okay, thanks, Amanda. That's great. That's another thing. If you are local to our Texas team, um, we are having a team dinner this Thursday night at Stakakawa. How do you say it? Stakakawa. I like how you said it. I'm, I'm so confused. What just happened? <laughs> I think everybody says it just a little differently. <laughs> Anyways, that's where we're gonna be at 7 p.m. So join us this Thursday. How funny. Um. Oh, and then Illinois team is having a team dinner on Friday. Woohoo! Message Amanda Foster for details. Awesome. Okay, what other questions do y'all have? I love this. This is fun. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. I have been. I shared on Tristan's thing that we had a little bit ago that I have a person that I've been kind of working on for a year. She has fibromyalgia and she was crickets for the longest time. And she finally last week said, okay, I've had enough. I'll meet with you. I'll try it. Well, I went to meet her tonight and she wasn't home. So, I, I, the day that she said, I will meet with you, I like spent the whole afternoon finding testimonies on fibromyalgia and I have saved a couple. So since she wasn't home this evening and I know she's going to be busy cause she runs a, a summer camp for kids. Um, and I, I won't be able to see her again now for two weeks. So should I send those testimonies that I saved? Should I send those to her or is that too pushy? No, I would send them to her, especially when you know that this is going to help her health. And I would just be like, hey, you know, this, I know that this is going to help you. I would just be bold with it, but leave it in her court. But I mean, that 10% deal, like that is huge. And be like, that, yeah. and be like, I, you know, I do not want you to miss out on this because I know these products will change your life. Why not get them at the best discount? possible plus a 10% off. Like, I don't want you to miss out on this deal. I think when we frame it, like, I don't want you to miss out on this deal because you truly don't want her to miss out on that deal. It's more like, it makes them realize like, oh my gosh, like this is the deal, you know? And Teresa isn't just trying to like, cause we, sorry, he's kind of vocal. We, we project to people like we're assuming that they're thinking we're just trying to get the sale when really that's not what we're doing and that's really not what they're thinking you know people just get busy life happens she's doing summer camps um so i think when you just have a sense of urgency and with this with this it's nice because there's a firm cutoff it's the 26th is when that deal ends so i would reach out to her almost like daily until she signs up until the deal's over or until she tells you flat out, okay, leave me alone. You know, everyone's busy, but everyone can find 20 minutes to get signed up. You know what I mean? If it's I a problem. Sister. sister was there. So I did get to speak with her, which I'm good friends with. And I did leave a couple samples for her to try it. Cause she said she, her sister had said to me, well, she kind of talked to me about it and said, well, is it gross? What's the case like? Or, Cause I have given it. And so I left a couple samples thinking, okay, maybe if she tastes it, then she'll see that it's not yucky or it's not going to, you know, make you have any reaction right away. You know, she'll get an idea. So, and I could maybe even, I know she doesn't have camp on the weekend, so maybe I could reach out to her then and say, hey, let's get together before next week's camp starts, send her those uh, testimonies in the meantime. And But yeah, I've been praying for her for a year and just really want her to jump on it. She's in bad shape. 
Yeah. And that's what I would just tell her. Just be honest with her. Like I have been praying that you could get started on these products and feel some breakthrough. You know, let, when will you be home this weekend? Like get a firm time from her. You know, if I come over Saturday at 2 PM, can we get you signed up and started with this discount? You know, um, holy cow. He's like, yeah, she's, she's, she's really hard to get like, like to, even when she said, I'll meet with you, it was just so vague and all she, all it was, was this evening. I'll meet you this evening. No time, no. What I, so I just got in my car and went over there. I'm you like, said she's, Here I come. she's like a kids <laughs> camp director. Yeah. Yeah, she's a blue personality. She's at her home. The camp's at her home. Yeah. <laughs> she's a blue personality. I resonate with that. I'm like, yeah, I'll talk to you later. And it's like yeah, so big. She's like, whatever. <laughs> Invite her to a party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell her you're going to Orlando. <laughs> Well, I even actually said, when she said, I'll meet with you, I said, okay, great. And what do you need for camp? So I donated some stuff to camp just to get to go over there. So. Um, I also saw a video earlier this week. It was a diamond I'd never heard of. And she said, if you get like those static responses, she's like bypass the voice, record, like voice messages and just like makes like a quick, like two minute video to send to them, like talking to them. So you could like do like, oh, I'm so sorry I missed you. Um, I left some samples at your house. I've been praying for you. I'm really excited that you might be interested in this opportunity. Like you can make it your own and it doesn't have to be long, but it just kind of makes it so it's more personal than even just the voice messages. Yeah, I've sent her a couple of those. And actually within this last week when she even, when she just started to show some interest, I sent her a voice message thinking, the same thing. Okay. Maybe if she hears my voice and knows, you know, that I'm sincere and, and so on. So I just don't want to lose her. <laughs> I'm so scared to lose her. Yeah. I would just be, be consistent. Try to nail down like a hard time to meet with her. She probably is just skeptical that it's actually, it's, it's not a priority to her yet. Cause she doesn't understand how much it's going to help her, you know, but that's what you're there for. And once she gets, once she gets started, like she'll be like, oh my goodness, why did I wait? You know? Goodness, mercy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what else, guys? This is fun. <laughs> what other questions do y'all have? I Don't just wanna know I just wanna know what people what um people are experiencing that's new different great fabulous with the x factor and the vital biome just so that i can share with friends because i don't i just got my order i didn't realize i forgot to order the x factor plus so i haven't tried it yet but just kind of want to hear from friends yeah what do y'all think <laughs> i definitely I've definitely found that I have to eat it with food. Um, you know, a lot of times I don't have to do that, even with stuff that kind of says you do. But um, I, it, it gave me like a bad stomach cramp, but I didn't eat it right with food. Are you talking about X Factor Plus or both of them? X Factor Plus, yeah, X Factor Plus. And that was, that was with two, and I started out with two right away, so that was probably a mistake too. I probably should have started with one for me. Yeah, same with me, Lynette. Like, you guys, I literally bought a pregnancy test last week because I was like, what the heck is wrong with me? And Elena was like, you need to take a pregnancy test because you are acting crazy. And it was just the X Factor Plus because I am super sensitive to – that's why I love the original X Factor because I could take it any time of day and it would not overwhelm me. Um, and so – yeah, this one, not so much. Like I, Christy was saying that she's, Christy Cook, she was doing one in the morning and one at night now, right? Okay, and that seems to be working for her. So, sorry, what is, what is it, like you said, it's making you crazy? Like what, how oh, so? I was just so nauseous. Like I, oh, okay. yeah, right before the power hour last week, that 10 a.m. one, Pam and I were sitting there getting ready to do it. And I looked at her, I was like, I'm about to throw up. And she's like, are you like, okay? Like, so yeah. And I'm not a huge breakfast eater. Like I am, if I'm, if I like really make it a priority, 
but for the most part, I don't eat huge breakfast. So that no, was I don't, either. I don't either. But I haven't I had think you need that, that much. It's so funny. I, I didn't realize that that's what it was because the other day I took mine because I took my Slim, the new Slim, 2X Factor, a Vital Biome, and my Edge in the morning. And I usually never eat. I wait 30 minutes, and I eat, and I go to the gym, and I'm fine. But this morning, I was in bed working my business. I think it was like a Saturday or something. And I was the same way. Ever. I was like, oh, my God, I am seriously going to throw up right now. And I was like, what is happening to me? Of course, <laughs> yes, my husband wasn't true. like, go get a pregnancy test, but thank God. But I was like, what? I have an extra if you need it. Good. And I, I had heard no one, because no one ever talks about like how they actually feel. I had heard no one say that. So I'm so glad because I was like freaking out that I was getting sick or like, and I haven't been sick in years. So I was like, what is wrong with me that I would even feel that way? So that's good to know because that was the only day it happened to me. So I actually didn't take the edge with it. I started eating and then taking my edge because I thought maybe that was it. But maybe it was the X factor. Okay, yeah. so are you guys, are you guys so saying maybe that after you eat them, do you feel better? I had to eat like I had to eat a lot after that before I started feeling like back to normal. Like I, that was around I took it around eight a.m. and I didn't feel like myself again until like two p.m. Like I had to eat a, like more for breakfast and then I had to eat a good lunch before I really. Christy, that was the day that I was like I need to like lay down and I could not function with the world that day. I was like I am just not myself. This is disgusting. So, so okay. what I said about taking X Factor at convention. They now now that we're talking about this, it's coming back to me. <laughs> so they said two things. One, take it with food, and for two reasons. One, because it is this really uh, potent multivitamin, and it can make some people nauseous. Um, so take it, but also because it works better, it absorbs better with food because it changes the pH balance in your stomach. So you should definitely take it with food. And she said um, it was uh, that Cindy Latham is the one who was saying this. And she said, if it still upsets your stomach, then do split it up. Take one with breakfast and one with lunch. Yeah, and I'm telling you, okay. one does nothing. I make sure I take it with my breakfast or, you know, before, after, whatever, just with it. Um, and one in the morning, one at night, I've had no issues whatsoever. And I'm not kidding you. I took two the one time, thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I right know. Two. When I took two edge by accident. <laughs> yeah I'm taking two in the morning and my daughter is also taking two in the morning and she has been saying every day mom my stomach's upset yeah so that's okay Have split them. okay so here's a here's a question I don't have trouble with it Amber you sent do you send out the bottles to the people that we gave you the addresses to um they are in route as of tomorrow okay because I have one uh, my hairdresser is in Colombia, and so I know that she won't get it until she comes back. So I don't have to worry about her. So it's just my other one that uh, I gave you because I want to definitely warn them. Yeah. And, and I didn't even, know. good thought, Jan. I didn't even think to like put it in my note or anything about starting yeah. slow. So maybe like if you did have someone earn a free X Factor Plus, like let them know, start with one at breakfast, one at lunch. One at lunch, yeah. Yeah. Cause you, might want to put out a, you might want to just put out a post about that in general so people know. Yeah. Because you don't want to scare these new people away. Yeah. And I know I tend to be extra sensitive with like multivitamins in general. Like I always had to take my prenatal before bed because in the morning it was just too much for me. So that was why I love the original X Factor because I could take it any time of day and it never yeah, yeah. made me gross. But yeah. yeah, but other vitamins that I've taken, I've always had to take them with with food or right before I eat. So it's it's essentially with the food. Is so anyone taking it? Is anyone taking it and not feeling like overly? <coughs> okay, so Teresa, Jill, or Amanda. Okay, and and Lynette said she's taking hers with breakfast and it's much better. Okay. I was gonna say, I, had, I had there. I thought I heard that we were supposed to take it with Vital Biome on an empty. So I had been doing that. So this makes me pretty happy. Okay. I was gonna say I've been taking mine with my Slim and Vital Biome, and I've been fine. And I'm usually the one that like gets nauseous at, like all the time. So like it hasn't bothered me. But 
I will also eat 30 minutes later. I don't wait. I'm pretty like on a schedule. So Jill, I will say though, like aside from that on the positive, like my sleep is crazy. Like so crazy good, it's nuts. I thought I slept well before because I don't wake up all the time now. But like my husband will work out, he works out late at night and he'll come in at like midnight or 12.30 from a bike ride and shower and he would always wake me up and it was kind of annoying. I don't even hear. Like a complete rock. And I don't know about anybody else, but my mood is amazing. (laughs) <laughs> like I'm not stressed out and I have just a couple of things going on <laughs> first of all can I just say how easily you say the name the word husband like that just rolls off your tongue like you've been saying it for years like I'm like who oh Andy I'm like wait like <laughs> my husband <laughs> that's like when I first got engaged my my fiance it's like yeah. so awkward <laughs> so funny so wait the vital biome is just making you feel like not a care in the world you're not overly like you know it's the vital biome right I mean well I don't know what else it could be I mean I know how much my anxiety and OCD went down with just the triplex and the products I've been on for the last two years but I still had I mean especially now between the wedding and moving and all that and I mean it gets a little crazy. I would think I just find myself like we have three weeks before moving. We haven't packed a thing. Everyone's like, are we going to pack? I'm like, yeah, we probably should start. Like normally I would be crazy making lists and schedules. And I'm just, I'm not like that right now. Well, plus the new slim, the new slim yeah. in addition to all that. And Kayla, I think you were saying you feel like amazing with the vital biome too, right? Yeah. I'm just, I'm calm. Like I'm so calm. <laughs> That's and I, that's the only thing I can think of that it would be, like it has to be the new vital well. I'm far less stressed like I'm normally when I'm at work, because <clears throat> I'm like fielding calls and dealing with patients and whatnot. Like, and insurance companies that usually stress me out. But like today, I was calm. Like, oh, press press thirty different buttons, and I was fine. Like, <laughs> like I was not as like anxious as I usually am when I'm on the phone. That's awesome. I'm scared to see what I would look like if I wasn't on these products. Like, can I get an amen? Holy cow. (laughs) Oh, goodness. Well, cool. I'm going to try the whole X Factor for breakfast, X Factor Plus breakfast and lunch then. I'm just bad about taking it during the day. Like, you know. I'm actually doing one at breakfast and one just before bed with my probiotic. That's what I'm doing. That's not a bad idea, right? Like, Will it keep you awake or no? It hasn't. I've been doing it four or five days now. Okay. It's not a bad idea. One other thing that they, um, that I remember them mentioning at convention was that, because I think I heard somewhere in this conversation, someone said that they took their X factor with their vital biome, but, and they are saying take the vital biome on an empty stomach because it does better without this stomach acid that you produce when you eat. Yes. And take the X Factor Plus with food because it absorbs better with the acid that is created. So, so you probably shouldn't be taking them together. So, like Amanda posted, and I said I do the same thing. Like I get up and I take, I get my Slim and my Vital Biome, and I and I do those together right away. And then I wait an hour or so, and then I eat and take my X Factor Plus. Yeah, I do that too, but I wait a, the half hour. Yeah. Well, I, th- during that hour, I'm usually at the gym. So <laughs> mm-hmm. that's, that's why I would, I would have a hard time waiting an hour <laughs> if I wasn't doing something else, but I'm usually working out. So. Cool. Awesome. Um, what other questions do you guys have? Yeah, Lynette brought up a good thing about other medication. Cause I have like this medication that I think take for the cancer. And I've wondered about that, but I haven't had any problems with it. I just, I, you know, first thing I do is get like 20 ounces of water and I, I uh, take that in my vitamin D and, uh, and then the X factor, because, you know, I, I haven't gotten my X factor plus yet. I will, it should fill tomorrow. Um, And, uh, and then the slam and, and, I do the 
uh, Mega X in the morning because I'm doing it mostly as a control for blood pressure. And if I do it at night, it puts me in such a deep sleep that when I do get up to go to the bathroom, I can't fall back asleep. So, <laughs> so, but I'm taking all of those at once. And I wondered about that, you know, because I'm mostly, I, I, I want to make sure that my medication that, they, that Anderson has me taken, you know, for the cancer isn't getting affected by any of these. But I can't imagine that it would, considering that they're all natural. Well, in the vital biome, it's just a, a strong, um, like, probiotic. So I can't imagine yeah. that would yeah. interfere with yeah. taking at the same time. Yeah. I just started the vital biome. That just came a couple days ago. So, But um, I haven't had any side effects from it. You know, you just wonder. You want to make sure that everything is good taken together. But. Other than that, I will definitely remember that about the uh, X Factor Plus, though, taking that with food. That makes yes. sense. Yes. I've been, like, gun shy to take that one lately. <laughs> well, if you think about it, though, I mean, with a lot of vitamins, they tell you to take it with food. Yeah. You know, just vitamins in general. Because you have all those... Uh, the, all the different vitamins and minerals together. So it's got to be hard on your stomach, you would think. I don't know. Yeah. But. Yeah, I was just doing that same thing, though. I was taking it with the vital biome, thinking I could just get it down at the same time, you know, mm -hmm. instead of going back to my cabinet later on in the morning. But not going to work. <laughs> um, what other questions do you all have? what's that jeremy hey i had a quick question how hard is it to get somebody cleared out like an ambassador that's been in there that's been inactive well you have to ensure that they have not ordered anything at all in the past past six months and that okay. they um they are over six months past their $34.95 renewal. Like it's been past six months since they've paid it. So gotcha. if those things are in place, then you can like give me their information and um, I can call and help get them cleared out. And then they'll be emailed a form that they have to fill out. And then once it's filled out and resubmitted, then within a couple hours, between two and 24 hours, they can sign back up. Gotcha. Okay, no, that's fine. I don't think I, I don't think I have anybody that's at that point. I was just asking. What other questions do y'all have? Just an FYI, the one that I was talking to you about, uh -huh. Christy, she does not want to have to pay the thirty four ninety five again. But I gave her some of my extra stuff, so hopefully that'll get her going for you. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things, though. She's going to have to pay it one way or another if she plans on staying with the products because it's yeah, a big wall. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't understand that because we had just gotten paid, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so once, yeah, if she, if she wants to order next month or whatever, she'll have to pay it eventually, you know, so. But. Well, she's paid the thirty four ninety five back in September, so she's good for the year, but oh, I mean, she okay. just won't be taking advantage of the the discount for the right so, gotcha uh, you know it is what it is <laughs> not a person that you want to push so <laughs> yeah i have a question okay yeah. so like the re-entry like where they can be cleared out and re-enter as a new ambassador can you hear me i'm like trying yeah. to be quiet okay um Okay, so they can't have ordered for like six months and their current ambassador has to be expired for six months too, is that right? You mean like it's, their their upline? Like no, like their um like their yearly fee has to be expired for six months, right? Right, right. Okay. Yeah, they have to be like six months past due, like they haven't paid it. It's been Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. So, and it used to be like, we could just call, get it deleted, and then it was good to go. But now they're having, they're like emailing them a cancellation form. It's not a hard form. It's just, they have to do that step before they can be canceled out now. 
And if a person is past their six month renewal, is it easy for them to just sign up as a customer? Um, I don't know about that because it would still have all their information in there. Um, because I I work around with the with the new email or a different phone number. Yeah, that would be one way to try it. But if they ever want to upgrade, then be, they won't be able to. So that would be like the bummer part. Yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, they could try a different phone number and stuff. But yeah, if they haven't ordered in forever, it's not that hard to get it deleted out. Just it might be just easier to have a customer service and say, I just want to be a customer, right? Yeah, they can definitely call on their own and get that done. Okay, thanks. Um, sweet. Anyone else have any questions? Or anyone want to share anything? Is anyone else having issues with their Lexi app? Like, me and Lexi are not getting along. <laughs> I every time I like get in my app my contacts are gone and I have to like log out and log back in and if I'm lucky they'll show up and if not I have to do it again I know that was happening for Karen I know that was happening for Karen Enax but uh, does anyone know how to like solve that to where it stops doing it I even like I uninstalled it and I reinstalled it and that didn't help I wonder if it's just being like temperamental right now, since there's like so many people like using it. I don't know. Yeah. Also, I this, I have to tell you guys this funny story. Mm -hmm. I kept telling Tristan that I was not getting my emails from her, and I don't know. I guess apparently I don't get my junk email folder on my phone, and I logged in on my computer. And all of my Lexi emails for the last like two weeks were in my junk email. <laughs> She, Tristan's like slacker. I know, but I, I was, I was every day. I'm like, Tristan, I'm not getting my emails. <laughs> Whoops. That's too funny. Oh, goodness. And then th there is like a walk. There is like going to be a walk one too. Because I know some people are getting overwhelmed with like the run, the sprint, the fast jog, like <laughs> power walking. <laughs> so there is going to be a walk track. I'm not, did they mention that convention when that's coming or, okay. So there will be a walk track, which I assume is a lot less intense. So that'll be good. They mentioned it and said that the walk track basically um, will introduce them to everything and it will talk about sharing the products with their friends, um, but it's not going to, you know, tell them to make a massive list or whatever. It's basically designed to get them to use all of their products by the end of the month. Um, so that, you know, like the customer track, it's, it's basically designed to get them, um, through their products so that they'll be ready for their convenience order once it processes, okay. um, and keeps them going. So, but no, they did not mention a date. And what do you guys, when you guys have someone who's just a wholesale investor, what do you put them under? Do you put them under customer or do you put them as an ambassador? Most of mine are triplex people, so I put them on the triplex one. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't think yeah, of that. I put my newbies who don't want the business on just the triplex under a Okay. Because that one's pretty good. I mean, it is still a lot of information, but it talks about getting your water in, getting activity in, you know, like things that we know we need to be reminding them. But um, it talks about gut health and all that good stuff. So it's all good information. But. Look at this kid, like how sad he could not take it and he just fell asleep. <laughs> Poor kid, mom and not putting him to bed. Um, I just wanna share something with y'all and then if you guys have any more questions, we can um, do that. But okay, so for those of you in the amazing race, and I know we were talking about this earlier about having your story, your 90 second story. We all need to know what our story is and be able to like share it quickly. And I struggle with that. If you've ever done a three way zoom with me, Tristan knows I'm always like, I'm going to give the cliff notes version 20 minutes later, my story is done. So I personally need to like practice that and get better. Bob Heilig has an awesome video on like near the top of his page, um, about your 90 second story. But I was thinking about it today, not only, is it so important for us to have our own story and understand why we have our story and how we can share it with others? 
But when you're talking with people, you guys, listen for those stories that are, they're already telling you as you're talking with them, as you're meeting new people. I was messaging some girls on our team earlier and I was telling them like some people that I've been talking to lately and, or that I met over the weekend. And when you just talk with people, their story starts to emerge and you can see the holes in it where Plexus can fill that gap. So for example, I have three people that I like have really been talking to. Um, I met this awesome couple this weekend. They have a kid. Um, they used to travel a lot before they had ki their child, and now they don't have extra income for that. So that's what Bob Heilig says. He says, you know, everyone is lacking in one area, if not more. And those areas tend to be time, finances, stability, um, and I even think like satisfaction. Like a lot of people are in jobs that they don't enjoy, um, or friendships, you know? So when you're listening to people, listen for those gaps and those holes. So when you do bring up Plexus, you can bring up how that could help them in that area. So this couple that I met over the weekend, they never travel because they don't have that extra income. They like their jobs. So they don't have extra income now that they have a child. So like I could be like, wow, like Plexus fills that travel bug for me, you know? Um, another girl um, that I met, well, actually this couple I've been talking to recently, they want to adopt again. But she told me how much they spent on their first adoption. And that's not, an, that's not an option. They have great jobs. They're like corporate America. But the amount that they spent on their adoption, they want to. And they're like, I don't know how we could again. So like that, Plexus can fill that gap. You know what I'm saying? So I was just thinking about that in reverse today. How when you are just in conversation with people and you're just getting to know them or whatever the case might be, listen for those holes. <laughs> They may love their life, but something isn't exactly where they want it. And once your belief in what we have is so strong, you will be like, whoa, like there's your answer. Like Plexus can do that for you. So I wanted to share that with you guys because that just hit me while I was driving home. So, oh wait, did somebody, oh, thank you, Carrie. Carrie, you are like the queen of links. She's like on it. <laughs> this one happens to still actually just be open on my computer because I haven't finished watching it yet. The other two I had to go look up real quick, but <laughs> <laughs> she's like, Shh, let me find that link real quick. I love it. Well, I mean, it helps to have it right there. Then you remember to watch it. So. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like when you're talking with people, you're almost helping them before they've even gotten started with Plexus, you're helping them to start building their why. Like if you know what's missing from their life and they've talked to you about that, like you are essentially starting the process of building their why together. So um, it's pretty exciting to know what we have. It's for everyone, you guys, holy smokes. Um, anyone else want to share anything? I have a question. Yeah. So I just signed my first ambassador yesterday and Alexis yeah, um, and she's completely on fire, so that's kind of exciting and a little overwhelming because I don't feel like I know anything or enough yet, and <laughs> she's got all these questions, so I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> um, she wants to do a sit and sip or si sip and see, sip and see. Nice. And I've never done one of those, so Tristan's going to help me out, but um, I got the email saying that she signed up under me, but then I got another email from Plexus saying that I get paid for it, but I have to have a qualified... Do I have to have like my like a you have to, qual is that the conditional you have to just be commission qualified so you have to have a hundred PV okay but I don't have like I being a paraprofessional was my first year they don't offer the first year people like a 12 month payment plan so right. I took off my auto ship because I was afraid that I would forget about it and I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to pay my bill so I took that off for the summer yeah just, to safeguard myself. Do I have to have that turned on to get paid? Nope. Okay. I was confused by the email. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go back in there and turn that on because if I don't then, but it, it, I have to have 100 PV be on her welcome pack, correct? You have to have 100 PV. Like you have to have personally 100 PV. So I have to spend 100 PV in order to get paid that. And if I haven't paid that myself, then I won't get that you can also do it. You can also have, you can also have a hundred PV by having a customer. It doesn't have to be you spending the money. If you have a hundred PV go through your website, you are commission qualified. 
Okay. I'll have Whether to it's your order or a customer's. So if I don't have that by Friday, I don't get paid this? Is that what they're saying? Did you have 100 PV last month? Yes. Then you should get paid on it. Okay. Um, from what I'm my understanding confused is. on the whole auto qual and when I'm like, I don't know what this is. So I'm just going to ask if there's something I need to do between now and Friday so that I get paid the $25 or whatever it is. I would, I would send the email to Tristan just to verify or call customer service. Okay. Um, but my understanding was if you have 100 PV the month before, you should get that $24.95 on the Fridays. If you didn't, and then all of a sudden you have a new ambassador, you have to spend 100 PV before that Friday in order to get paid. Okay. Yeah, but that's Friday, not the 15th. Right. What's that? Why is it the Friday and not the 15th? Because we get paid the welcome pack bonuses on Fridays. That's not included in the 15th. Oh, paycheck. every Friday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can, um, what's that? No, go ahead. Uh, Becca, I, said, I think you're good because you had well over 100 PV last month. And so like, okay. like, if, like if we have people from our team that join, let's say the first and the second of the month and I don't have 100 PV, I still get paid on those people because I had 100 PV last month. So as long as you made 100 PV last month, which you did, you will get paid for weekly bonuses. Okay. All right. And uh, Jan, to answer your question, so we have the opportunity to get paid five times a month. The 15th is your big commission check with your pay points and your, you know, commissions and all that good stuff. And then the Fridays are when we get paid business building bonuses. And that's when you have team members and your levels one through four that order a welcome pack. Um, that's when those start accumulating up onto your Friday paychecks. So like if you sign somebody this week with a welcome pack, you'll get paid on it next Friday for their welcome pack. And it's levels one through four. So it's it's pretty fun. Like once you start really getting a team growing, yeah. that's just some extra fun money. I'm hoping I have the Colombian connection. <laughs> With that boat. Now tomorrow I go silver. Yay. So do I get paid for that on Friday? No. So bonuses like that are the following month on the 15th. On the 15th. Okay. That's yeah. what I kind of figured. So. Yeah. So okay. everything except welcome pack bonuses are on the following month on the 15th. Okay. okay. Is there, I have a question. Yeah. Um, how can, can we does Plexus ship to every country in the world or does it not all? No, no, we're working on it. We're, uh, we're Plexus worldwide in hopes that we'll be worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you find out which ones like South we, Korea? We ship to Australia, um, New Zealand, Canada, New Zealand, Canada, New Zealand, and then to military bases. Yeah, APOs. But they said that they were going to expand that very soon. So, yes, yeah. they're supposed to be adding a country or something soon, but. I was hoping it would be released at convention and it wasn't. <laughs> so make it to leaders retreat because I'm sure that's where they're going to announce it. <laughs> yeah, Judy, do they, have, do they have an APO? Are they like military or no? No, it's my future daughter-in-law and her mother is from Korea. Okay. And they just got back from there. And the, Kore the Korean people have a really great, like, um, skincare products and whatever as far as my Casey thing, or not Casey Jackie thinks but then she thinks that the people over there would be interested in our supplements and our whatever but so anyway I just was asking because it could lead down the road that you know there might be a group of people over there that want the supplements but yeah just was we a have sorry we have somebody on our team who um for quite some time she, I forget which country she has family in. Um, she's actually in Kirsten's team, but um, she would order the product herself, have it shipped to her, and then she would ship it overseas to her family. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be heading to bed, so.
We'll talk to y'all. I got swim in the morning. <laughs> night, Judy. Good night. <laughs> All right, did anyone else have anything? <laughs> Amanda, Korean face masks are the bomb. <laughs> I have one quick question on Lexi again, sorry. Yeah. Um, I had put someone on a track and I was doing this at like 11 o'clock at night and then realized these messages were gonna start going off. So I stopped it, you know, but, and then it said that you could resume it if you push the resume track button, but I haven't found the resume track. <laughs> <else found> <laughs> oh, great. Um, I think doesn't it just send your initial message at that time? Like I don't think it sends all of them at the time, does like, it? It had like two more set to go out at like eleven something, and I was like, mm. <laughs> um, I don't know about the whole resume button thing. Let me ask Nikki if she knows about that, and see if we can find that resume button. That's funny. I wonder if you should just clear her out as a contact and like start again. I couldn't figure out how to do that either. <laughs> People are like stuck in Lexi forever. Yeah. Lynette can't get rid of them and I can't keep them. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have duplicates of, of, of two of my ambassadors. So I tried to end one, but I don't know if the, if the other one's still going through. I don't know if they're getting two, four, seven. <laughs> I saw that on your thing in the Amazing Race. I was like, oh, she put them in twice. Huh. Yeah, no, I was trying to get them to load and it loaded <laughs> twice. <laughs> Oh, Lexi, Lexi needs to take her vital biome. She's crazy. <laughs> well, you guys get all these, these things ironed out. So when I'm at a point where I can start <laughs> using them, I'll be footloose and fancy free. <laughs> We're your guinea pigs. <laughs> oh, goodness. So funny. Well, cool. I know. Oh, Kayla, I know his little head. He's, he's at a stage where he only wants to nap if mommy's like right next to him. So we're trying to work out that situation because mommy can't lay down at all hours of the day, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> Mama got too much energy for that. I, I know. That's the thing. With Eli, he really only could nap with me because I was napping with him all the time. So this kid, I'm like, you're on your own, toots. <laughs> Aw, is he the cutest little fat thing ever? Oh, gosh. Okay. So... Good job tonight, guys. Hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to just ask on the team page or whatever. But I feel like we hammered out some awesomeness. And yeah, um, I hope who's going to be on the power hours tomorrow? Who's planning on being on? I'll be on the 10 a.m. one for sure, and ideally the 8 30 as well. So, all right, guys, have a blessed Bye. day. Bye.